New this morning, a Salt Lake County teacher soaring to new heights, literally. John Franke takes a look at how this teacher hopes her flight to the stratosphere delivers valuable lessons to her students. Jennifer Muir teaches science here at Draper Park Middle School, and when you teach science, you have to have a level of curiosity, and it's that curiosity that led Ms. Muir to earning a prestigious spot as the NASA Airborne Astronomy Ambassador, meaning she gets to fly among the stars. Thanks, Haley. Thanks, Jay. There are many important lessons taught in middle school science class. It's important for them to understand space so they understand how unique Earth is, why we need to take care of Earth. Canyon School District 8th grade teacher Jen Muir hopes to bring real world experience to her students. After a rigorous application process, Ms. Muir was the only Utah teacher selected for a NASA affiliated training program aboard Sophia. This huge 747 aircraft is the world's largest flying observatory. Sophia, NASA's telescope on an airplane, observed our galaxy's center in infrared light, which is invisible to human eyes but pierces through the dense dust. Not many teachers or scientists earn a seat on this plane. The steps to that the scientists and the researchers go through to get time on SOFIA, um, they have to make proposals, they have to have abstracts. SOFIA is an acronym for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. Ms. Muir is scheduled to work alongside scientists on two flights above the Earth's vapor layer this week. Among its achievements is finding water on the moon. We'll be on a 10 hour night flight, zigzagging all over up into Canadian airspace and then back down, taking pictures of different targets in the universe from anywhere from the moon to distant galaxies and distant nebulas. When Ms. Muir returns to her classroom next week, she hopes to have a wealth of new knowledge, providing more depth to her students than what's found in a textbook. And not just being able to say this is what we know, but be able to show them how we know it. Just another example of a Utah educator, in this case, literally going above and beyond for their students. Now, Ms. Muir's first flight is later tonight. Her second is set for Friday. By the way, only 24 teachers nationwide were selected to take part in this program. In Draper, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.